He advised to founders, one, get a startup prenup. Most founders co-found companies with their best friends, with their family members. And I think, oh, we don't need to start a prenup. That's terrible. We know each other so well. Guess what? Things change. Someone wants a lifestyle business. Someone wants to grow. Someone was CFO for the first round. Cannot scale. You need a clean way to organize uh, your equity, to organize the roles when things are not going well. Get the startup prenup. That's number one. The second thing is uh, that chaos is your friend, that uh, if you're trying to disrupt the status quo, you need to hope for chaos, not avoid chaos. Um, obviously, you have to you know, manage your way out and be very efficient, but I think sometimes, especially at the beginning, you, you, if situations are turbulent, that's when entrepreneurs can take advantage of those moments. Um, and the third is to get yourself a circle of mentors, not just one. I think we put too much pressure on the perfect soulmate mentor. I was like, that stresses me out. I was like, oh my God, I have to find a boyfriend and a, a mentor at the beginning. Now, you know, now I have a husband. I was like, oh, I still don't want to find the mentor. Creating a circle of mentors relieves the pressure. So it's not just one person who's leading you up through the career. You're getting advice in finite chunks. Um, if you have to fire one of your mentors or if they fire you, it's okay. You get people in different industries with different skill sets, different age groups. So get a circle of mentors.